Before I get into the video, I wanted to start off by saying thank you for being interested enough to check out the update. I'm trying some new things, and I thought a more detailed explanation of what I have going on was warranted. It's still early on, but I'm trying a new direction for Stupid Private 913. I'm trying to produce more videos with less scripting and editing. I'm going to be completely honest. The reason for this is changes to the YouTube algorithm. YouTube is an ever-shifting, dynamic environment, and right now, the thing that really seems to be in favor are live streams with Super Chats. I could do live content. I've tried live content in the past. If there's any interest in it, I could try it again. But I don't think live is really where I do my best work. More recently, I've tried longer form, more thoughtful analysis style videos. And those did okay. But I think this more dynamic, uh, quicker approach is worth giving a shot. As for content... I'm more focused on gaming and anime lately. One of the main reasons for this is I just have not been excited about what's coming out of the Western animation world. Shows like the Masters of the Universe reboot from Kevin Smith or the Harley Quinn show, just, it's not exciting right now. There's nothing that I'm really interested in, so... I'm playing a lot of video games, and I'm watching anime that I either didn't see or anime that seems like it's got something going on. So expect those to be more of a focus going forward on the channel, at least for now until things change. In addition to video creation, another major project that I've been working on is Sorceress 2. I've been putting more time and effort into the quests than I did with the original. The quests in Sorceress 2 are really tied into the gameplay loop that we're working on. A big focus of the game is going to be exploring the overworld, discovering the quest, learning about it, then tackling the dungeon that's associated with each quest. Each quest is going to have its own dungeon. And then getting the reward from that and moving on to the next big challenge. Another thing I'm doing is I'm adding a new character to Sorceress 2. Her name's Holly. Holly shows up briefly in the original game in the second act. She's in the park near the Grand Palisade Hotel. Anyway, she goes to Hexengard with the other characters. And gameplay-wise, she is a second DPS. One of the biggest mistakes I made with the original Sorceress was combining a tank and a DPS with Blaze. That was not a great decision on my part. What I ended up with was a character that's just better than all of the others. She has the survivability of a tank and the hitting power of a DPS, so the other classes can't really compete with that. In Sorceress 2, I'm making Blaze a true tank, and Holly will fill the role of DPS. So with six characters, we have two tanks, Blaze and Andraste, two DPS, Stormy and Holly, and two support, Nyx and Lupa. So that'll give the option for more builds and more ways to tackle challenges. Finally, the main character for Sorceress 2 is going to be Stormy. I really want to rotate through as many characters as possible as the main character. Each of them is well developed, they all have a point of view, a personality, and I think they all have main character potential. Another thing I'm doing is I'm taking Sorceress into the world of tabletop gaming with Sorceress the Dietrich House. Here is the cover for the first Sorceress module. I'd like to personally thank the artist, Crudel Black, for doing such a great job bringing the characters and the world of Sorceress to life. Inside the module, you're going to see more great illustrations. And if you'd like to see more of Crudel's work, check her out on Twitter. The link will be in the description of this video. Sorceress the Dietrich House is going to be for the Pathfinder 1E system. But don't worry, if you are a D&D player, a 5E version is coming. I made the module for Pathfinder 1E first because I have the most experience with the system, and honestly, it'll be a nice field test for it before I get to 5th edition, which has a much larger player base. Sorceress the Dietrich House is an adaptation of one of the quest lines 
in the Sorceress video game. And if things go according to plan, I'm going to come out with more modules based on other events and locations in the first game. Finally, just what I'm into these days, I've been really pushing to get through Final Fantasy XIV. I know, I'm trying to beat an MMO, I'm ambitious that way. Honestly, I'm not very far. I've rage quit the game previously, but uh, I think I am really going to try and do it this time. I'm not in love with the game by any means. I have played better MMOs, honestly. But there are a lot of good things about it. I am really enjoying the job quests uh, the most. I think that the writing there is much better than the MSQ, which I find to be really meandering and long-winded. Thank you very much for watching this Stupid Private update video. If you'd like to support my content outside of YouTube, check out Sorceress, a dark fantasy mystery RPG available right now on Steam. Follow the link in the description to watch the trailer. And if you'd like more reviews of anime, movies, TV shows, comic books, or video games, Check out Stupid Private right here on YouTube. Hey kids, today's show is brought to you by the letter 4 and the number potato! I'm a stupid private.